Aloha, how's everybody doing tonight? My name is Eric Surf Six and this is Eric Mealtime. Tonight we're at the Willows restaurant and this is a Hawaiian buffet restaurant or buffet restaurant, however you want to pronounce it. And it's supposed to be the best on the island. So let's go check it out. It's so dark in here. <laughs> Watch your step. Oh, look, they got ponds. Oh, this is delightful. Serious water feature on the entrance here. I dig this. It's so spacious here. Wow. We're on a boat, huh? You can see right across the way here, right? Let me get a shot of that. See, they're on a boat. We're on a boat too. Isn't that cool? Wow. This place is the bomb, huh? I love this. It's like, this place is just full of water features. It feels like you're sort of floating in the sea. I mean, you're really not, but it, it's definitely got that sort of feeling to it. And we're out, actually outside of Waikiki. This is a very local place to come and it's, it's a Monday night. It's pretty empty. So yeah, this place is, I think it's going to be the bomb, but, but I don't want to say that quite yet. Let's go into the food room here. The waitress explained to me that this is a Hawaiian and American buffet kind of mixed together. So I'll, there, there'll be a lot of Hawaiian food in here. Oh, look at this crab. That's pretty thick. Look at the size of it. It's pretty thick. Yeah. Poke don. Oh, yeah. You know that's going to be good. Yeah. Fish. Marinated fish. Raw fish. Oh, dessert. It's too early for dessert. Oh. Oh. Got to make sure to leave some room for dessert. Oh yeah, bread pudding. Yeah, for the ladies, here you go. Short shorts on the gentlemen. Yeah, there you go. And if you're a surfer, that's what you try to do right there. That's the bonsai pipeline, Jerry Lopez. Will you look at that? Look at the size of that. Ooh, they got some curries. Uh, here we go. Here's some Hawaiian stuff. Look at this squid lao lao, steamed lao lao. Wow. Oh, that's this is exotic. Look at that. Got to try that. Got to try some of this. It doesn't look so attractive, but I'm betting it's going to be pretty good. Mm, what do we have here? This is a huge slab of fish. Oh, is that salmon? Is that what I think it is? Potato crusted salmon. Look at the size of this thing. Oh my god. Looks like we got some mushrooms growing out of the wall here. Wow. It's pretty exotic. Ooh, Kalua pig and cabbage. This is my favorite. Definitely been having some of that. Yeah. That's very local. What do we have here? Ooh. Oh. Cajun ribs. Oh. Cajun ribs. I'm getting full already just looking at all this stuff. Goodness gracious. The first course, guys, is going to be prime rib. Yeah, we're doing this right. Not messing with any salads tonight. No, sorry. Yeah, no, sorry. Yeah, fine dining, you gotta do this. I don't know why, it's just that's what you gotta do. Makes it fine dining, doesn't it? Okay. Going in, going in for the prime rib. This is some of my favorite meat, prime rib. I haven't had this in quite a while. Oh, it slices so easy. It's cooked medium rare. Oh, this is, this is a treat. Yeah, and it's very rare that I start with something other than a salad, but when there's crab and there's all this Hawaiian food and yeah, this is special. I don't know, I'm just cutting all of it up. That's just the way I rock. Yeah, this is good. Just destroying it, just gutting it. Yeah, that's that's the way to do it. Then you don't have to worry about it later, huh? Yeah, bite-sized pieces. All right, but before we get started, this is the special one of the specialties of the house. It's a pina colada with midori in it. That's, that's the green, so. Yeah, a pina colada, pineapple, coconut. Let's give it a try. It's 
frozen, it's fancy, and it's sweet. Way too sweet. I think I'm gonna ask the staff if I could trade this for another drink. Oh, oh look, wow, that was quick. Here's another one right here. This is supposed to be a fruit punch. It's a Palolo punch. So I thought it would be red, but it's not. Punch. I'm guessing it's gonna be lemonade-y. Especially if we squeeze some lemon into it, huh? Oh, that's a hard lemon. Okay. Palolo punch. Oh, this is 10 times better. Oh, tastes like lemonade. I think they might have made a mistake on the order. I'm gonna have to talk to the waitress about this, but it's delicious, yeah, delicious. All right, let's get into this meat. I've also prepared some horseradish, and there's two types of horseradish. There's the pure on this side, and this is the mixed with whatever mayonnaise, the creamy, so this isn't gonna be as potent. So we'll start with the easy stuff and work up from there. Oh yeah, going in for a bite of the prime rib. Oh, wow. It's just that I haven't had this in so long. Prime rib's got a very specific taste to it for, for beef, right, for steak. Oh yeah, so tender. Oh. So good. So good. Can I, is this the is this the Palolo punch? It yeah. tastes like it tastes like lemonade. Yeah, it's a lemonade. It's like a lemonade. I like it. I like it. Like it. Yeah. yeah. And then we can also add, I don't know if you noticed, you can add a little bit of like mango or lily or puree or something add. Oh you to can? Flavor the, yeah, to flavor it. To flavor it. Yeah. Okay. So do you want to try it with the lily? Yeah, can you well, like the li the lily coirs? Okay. The That'd be great. Well oh, cool. She says you can flavor it for us. Nice, I like the service here. All right, let's go in for some of the really spicy. You know, like I love wasabi, so let's do just the pure horseradish here. And, oh, that's like more than half of what I, oh goodness. This could be trouble, but let's do it anyway. Oh, oh my God. Wow, just like wasabi, it just goes right to the nose, clears the sinuses. Yeah, it's very similar to wasabi. A mixture of both is probably best. Mm. Wow, that piece had a bit of fat on it, but it was delicious. I could just sit here all night and just just eat prime rib and be totally happy. Not even touch anything else. What do you guys think? No, no, we gotta do that. Stop. No more of this. Let's do some, some different varieties of stuff and show you some Hawaiian food. Okay, here we go. This is round two. This is ahi poke right here. Ahi poke. It's uh, tuna. Yep, and it's delicious. Yep, it's in a sesame oil and it's got onions and oh, it's just amazing. This right here doesn't sound very attractive. It doesn't look very attractive. It's called Squid Luau. Uh-huh. Gotta try it. Don't knock it till you try it. This is my favorite. There's nothing more Hawaiian, probably basic Hawaiian lunch food than macaroni salad. Yep, it's with every plate lunch. I love it, macaroni salad. This is the big one that I'm really interested in right here. This is called Lau Lau. Uh-huh, it's wrapped in a leaf. I'm not sure what kind of leaf it is, but yeah, you unwrap it and something's inside. I think it's fish, but I'm not exactly sure. This is Kalua pork right here, which is very popular. Kalua pork is served at all the luau's here. And then we've got the Cajun style ribs. Okay, but let's have another drink right here quickly. Because it's, gonna, it's about ready to change. The Palolo fruit punch is about ready to change. This right here is fresh squeezed passion fruit. That's right. It's very potent. So I'm gonna mix that in here and 
and see what happens. Look how thick that is. Oh yeah. So now it's a whole new kind of lemonade. Yeah. She said there's three or four different ways you can do the uh, the punch, right? I hope I didn't ruin it. The lemonade was pretty good just the way it was. All right, it's all mixed. I'll let you know in a second. Oh my. I feel passionate. It's better this way. Yeah, it's just, it spikes it. it. It adds tartness to it. Yeah, passion fruit is a wonderful fruit. You just can't eat too much of it, yeah. Okay, so let's get into this here. I'll do the side dishes first and then I'll get into the main items. Let's start with the uh, pokey, or poke. Poke, I think it's P-O-K-E, poke. Lovely chunks of tuna, ahi tuna. Mm. Oh. This has got a bit of kick to it. Oh boy. <coughs> this is spicier than the one I had last time. Mm. But I like it better. Mm-hmm. Lots of onions. There's garlic in here. It's fabulous. Bit of seaweed. Yeah. You can't get much more Hawaiian than this. This is available everywhere. Yeah. Alright, let's do another one. Mix it up. Alright, this one. This one's a bit of a gamble. Yeah. Squid. <laughs> Squid luau, they call it. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's kind of goopy. Yeah, I don't know. Are they going big? Go big or go home. Oh my gosh. This is hard to describe. It is mushy, but it's tasty. It's almost cheesy like the, the texture. Melts in your mouth kind of. Yeah. Melts, melts in your mouth kind of goodness. Oh boy. I think I'm going to have to inquire with the waitress as to uh, what exactly luau means. Right? Squid luau. It's not lao lao like this other one's going to be. It, was, it said luau. The squid's cooked. I mean, it's served hot. It's pretty fabulous. Oh, boy. Better than I had expected. Okay, Max salad now. This is everywhere. Yeah. Mm. No, it's so simple. It's just... And you know what? It tastes different everywhere you go. That's that's the amazing thing. Mm-hmm. Everybody's got their own little special recipe. See, this one's got potatoes mixed in it. For that, I like that. Mm-hmm. Mmm. There's another potato. That's gonna fill me up. Let's eat it anyway. I like that mixed with the potatoes. Mmm, fabulous. Moving on. Ooh, another piece of ahi. Mmm. Let's unwrap the lao lao. <clears throat> Let's unwrap it. See what's inside. Oh, goodness. Unwrapping the leaf. Oh boy, this is messy. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there we go. I'm not sure what we do with this. Oh, thank you. Wow. It's dark. It's. It might still be alive. I don't know. This is, uh, yeah. 
Do I cut it? Let's get into the middle of it and see if we can identify. Oh, okay. There's definitely fish happening there. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna have to do some research. Let's give it a try, shall we? <clears throat> Let's get a big piece of the outside, a big piece of the inside. Hawaiian Lao Lao. I think the luau is short for lao lao. Same type of stuff. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh my gosh. This is really something. Mm. Perhaps it's meat. I should have done a little research before I came here. Definitely meaty. Pork. It's really tender. Ah. I don't know exactly how to describe this, but it is sensational. Mm-hmm. Oh. Got a bunch of fat on that piece. Mm. Okay. Moving right along here. Let's get into the Kalua pork. Mm -hmm. This is some of my favorite food right here, Kalua pork. Shredded pork, basically. But I've seen this where they cook the pig <clears throat> over a pit. It's a very popular way. You cook a pig open over an open fire, and then they I've seen them like cut up the pig and slice this up right there on the spot. So it's got a bit of, it's got a smoky flavor to it. That's what it is. This is cooked over like a barbecue. Mm-hmm, over coals. Very smoky. Mmm. And this is served with cabbage. So soft. Juicy. Oh. I could eat this stuff all day. Wow. I mean, I think this is some of the best pork there is. This is right up there with bacon. Better than bacon. Oh my gosh. The meat is so full of juices. Oh, and that smoky flavor. Oh my goodness. Let's move over to the ribs here. It's a good looking rib. I'm gonna hold it in my hand and just See how easy it comes off the bone. I think that's the mark of a good rib, It's how easy it comes off the bone. Does it slide off? Do I have to chew it off? Let's find out. It slides off. Mm. Oh boy. Cajun, Cajun style. Spicy. Mm. Wow. Full of flavor. Excuse me while I wipe my mouth. Mm. Oh boy. So far, everything I've had has been perfection. Is there anything that doesn't taste good here? I don't know. The next course is here. Got the crab legs. These are barbecued crab legs. Mm -hmm. You can see there's a bit of char on them. Yep. Oh, they're meaty. This is king crab. Yep. Oh boy, that came off easy. Look at all the meat in that. Goodness, steak like. Got the claw here. Oh boy, this is a treat. If I said that already, this is a treat. Yep. And I think there's a cracker here. Yeah, that'll be good. Cracker there. And I've got my salad, right? I always like to get my greens in. So, yeah, we're getting them in. This is the salad with uh, oriental dressing. Mm -hmm. Some bean sprouts. Yeah, it's a little on the small side. Usually I go huge with my salad first, but this is special, so small, tiny salad. 
And no Hawaiian meal is complete without poi. That's right, the Hawaiians eat poi, or traditionally ate poi, some people still do, as their staple food, like a potato or rice. And I put a little bit of uh, sugar in this to give it some flavor. And uh, the waitress said that that's what they do for the children. So I guess I'm eating like a, a child. But they put like meat and stuff and they'll dip meat and stuff into it. And that's the way they eat it. So they don't often eat a plain, apparently. So they're mixing stuff with it. All right, here we go. Let's do the poi first. That's the starch. Look at it. it really, literally, it's like starch. It's very starchy. Look at that. Oh boy, the staple food, huh? Definitely spoon action for this, huh? Here we go. Poi. I'm not sure I've ever had poi before. Maybe. Mmm. Oh boy. <sighs> Tastes like a vegetable. So I want you guys to look around. I am the only one in this place. Look. That table's being cleaned there. The boat. Yeah. It's being cleaned up. Water feature over there. Yep. And check out the dining room. There is nobody in here. See? Yep. That's what you call YouTube VIP status. Thank you very much. It's just a Monday night and I'm last. It's like the, the buffet is closed now, but the dessert is still open. Yeah, the dessert bar is still open. Yeah. And I've got permission to stay later. I mean, with the sugar in it, it almost tastes like a pudding. Like a dessert. It does. Yeah. Not like a dessert. Maybe. It does have a tartness to it, though. No. Um, but it's, it's thick like a potato. So, that's that. You know what? Do I really have to eat this salad? Uh, okay, oriental dressing. I don't think I've ever had oriental dressing before. Woo! Wow, that's tangy, spicy. Oriental dressing, wow. Bean sprouts, I think this is kale and some other dark leafy greens, which are the best ones for you. Mm-hmm. I try to eat dark leafy greens in large quantities every day. If I can't make a salad, I'll, I'll put it in a smoothie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. I could eat like 10 more of these salads, but I'm not going to do it because we've got all this crab sitting over here. Mm-hmm. Where do I start? The leg, the claw, or the joint? The joint. He said joint. Oh, look at that. So, doesn't get any better than that, does it? Ooh. Oh. oh my. So meaty. Amazing. Mmm. Oh, look at that. Crab is so fun to eat. Yeah. Oh god. So these are done. Let's do. Let's do this big piece. Because it's easy to get into. It's a real soft shell here. Semi soft. You know, I think it's totally okay to eat with your fingers. Oh. Oh, shot to the eye. Grab. Mm. 
Yum, yum, yum. Push the rest out here. There it is. Look at that. That's a mouthful, isn't it? No butter or anything. It's not necessary. Oh. It's watery, it's salty. But it doesn't taste fishy. Just meaty. As it should, I think. Oops, what happened to the meat with this one? I need something, to, maybe a chopstick to push this out. Maybe not. It's a bit of a game, you know, working out how to get the meat. I'm gonna have to crack this one. When in doubt, crack it. Mm-hmm. I get pull it apart. There it is. That's the meat. Yum, yum, yum. Still a bit more left in here. Crack, crack, crack. This is a tough joint. <laughs> this crab does not want to be eaten. Was it worth it just to get that little bit? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. All right, and we saved the best for last. Crack the sucker. These are kind of hit and miss, these claws. Sometimes you got a ton of meat, sometimes you don't have hardly any. No. Let's see. Let's see how it comes out. Ooh, this looks pretty solid. I'm gonna try to get out one piece. One piece, the whole claw. Oops. Too much? <laughs> oh, made a mess. Almost. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Meeting like a three year old. Mmm. Oh, yeah. The claw is the toughest meat for sure. Mm hmm. It's tough, but I like it. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen a messier Eric Meal time? Mm-hmm. This might just set the record. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much plowed, isn't it? I think it's time for the dessert car. So you guys ready for some dessert? Okay, so this is the dessert that I got for myself. This is Hapua right here. Hawaiian style. This is a fudge brownie. This one, oh, I forgot the name. Raspberry sherbet, vanilla ice cream. And then she brought us another dish, which I didn't even order because they're, they're shutting down the buffet in there. So this looks like the, uh, the, the bread cake, another brownie. There's more hapua. And then, oh, she got us the fruits. Yeah, so way more than I needed. Yeah, all right, but here goes. Let's do the hapua. Go most local first. Hapua hapia. Oh, oh. It's like a rice coconut pudding. Mm, this is good. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. That is really good. Try a little bit of the fudge brownie. Yep. Mm-hmm. 
Bread pudding, that's what this is called. What did I say before? Not bread pudding. Yeah. Bread pudding. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's like eating dough. <laughs> I guess it's somewhat cooked. Actually, it's pretty good. I like it. It's kind of like Cinnabon. Kind of. Mm-hmm. Okay, this one. Let's see if I can figure out what this is. I read the sign. I just forgot what it was. If I eat it, maybe I can identify it. Oh, okay. Now I remember. It's a type of mochi. It's a type of rice cake. So chewy. Mm hmm. One style rice cake. It's not bad. Got some of the fruits. Pineapple, I've eaten so much pineapple in Hawaii every day. Pineapple is so cheap in Hawaii. It's so good. Mm. What is that? It's also pineapple. <laughs> no? It's melon. Orange melon. Mm-hmm. Grapes. I love the fresh fruits in Hawaii. Oh, crispy grapes. Mm. Okay, so I just had one of each of those. It's time to move in for the ice cream right now. Well, yeah. I'm gonna mix these together. So it's the raspberry and the vanilla together. Well, that's the way to do it, right? Mmm. Oh. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So good. Oh. I thought it was, I, mean, I was hearing the noise. Can you guys hear the noise? It sounds like thunder. But what it is, they're moving the tables around and they're cleaning because we're the last ones in here. Yeah. Okay, so now I guess it's time to rate this meal. Yep. They serve you coffee here without even asking. It just comes. Love this place. So it's called The Willows in Honolulu, Hawaii. It's just outside of Waikiki. It's very close to Waikiki. You can drive here in five minutes from Waikiki, or walk even. And you escape the hustle and bustle of all the tourists. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, but the price is a bit steep. It's about a $50 meal. That's including the drinks, but I think it's worth it. Mm-hmm. Definitely worth it. Compared to the prices in Japan, this is this is a bargain. And I really enjoyed all the different types of foods. Everything was good. So I'm gonna have to rate this meal. You know what I'm gonna give it, right? It's gotta be a full six out of six Eric heads. It is a nom nom nom. And that means that I'm giving away get some snack packs. I'm giving away three of them. That's the way it works here on my channel, if you're not familiar. There's always a link up here to what's inside. If you've never seen the Get Some Snack Back, it's a bunch of different stuff from Japan. And the only thing you have to do to enter for your chance to win is put a comment down below. It's that simple. And I always look forward to reading your comments. Put a comment anyway, even if you're not interested in winning a snack pack. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And did I mention that I will announce the winners of the Get Some Snack Packs in the very next Eric Mealtime video. So make sure you leave a comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Mahalo. If you're new, hit that subscribe button top center of the screen and also consider supporting me on Patreon. That way you can help me create better videos for you. Look on the link bottom center of the screen for that. You can see many of the different reward levels for your support. Be well and we'll see you soon.